I thought I'd throw you off a little bit by coming in that way this week. Got ya. Right then, if I'm honest, I thought it was going to be another week or two before I got around to actually getting this video out, so um, you're welcome. But this is the start of my new commuter build. Um, I've been working on it a little bit here and there as, as I've been going along, but I've finally done enough to kind of make a, enough content to give you guys a, a video. Otherwise it would just been like, here's my frame. It's not as interesting, is it really? Uh, that clip from the beginning, that is me riding the Rally Mirage. Uh, that has been my commuter since I built it now, which was several months ago. Um, I've loved it, it's been bloody amazing. I've really, really enjoyed riding it. It's been uh, comfortable, it's been quite upright, it's been like just everything you kind of need from a commuter that's not gonna make you kind of get bored of it. Um, and that's not why I'm getting rid of it. It's not because I'm bored of it, it's just um, it's slightly too big. And it's not like a problem, but it's enough for me to be like, ah, I need something different. The two main reasons is the fact that I had to have those curved back handlebars on it to kind of make it comfortable. Uh, and the seat had to be really low for it to then be comfortable. Um, and then it just kind of, there was always something about it that I just didn't like 100%. I was always like 98%. And uh, that's not how we do things around here. We're 100%, all the time 100%. So anyway, long story short, we need to build a new commuter. So uh, I've been looking for one pretty much since I finished building that, and there was a few options. The rock hopper, that was the first option. I, it was almost my commuter, that was kind of the original plan. But after getting it all almost built, I realized that it had made a really cool trail bike, and I have not looked back, it's been sick. Every now and then, uh, you guys send me links to bikes, but I often don't have the space. Uh, but a guy called Adam on my Instagram, uh, one of my followers, sent me uh, a link to e an eBay listing uh, for a Rally M Tracks. Uh, these uh, traditionally uh, have the titanium parts on them, and I was like, this sounds like something I need to look at. From the listing, it didn't have the exact model, so I didn't know 100% if it was the right one. Uh, Adam actually was really helpful with this, actually, and um, helped me uh, with uh, some Rally m -Trats groups on Facebook and sent some photos of it and stuff. And um, they kind of all came back and said it's pretty much definitely, I've forgotten the model. This model here, which is the one that has the titanium bars on it. So, cool. But yeah, it was on bids, there was no one watching it, um, so I was like, yeah. Maybe I should just uh, chuck him an offer. So I did. I sent uh, an offer for £20, pretty fair, and um, waited a few days. Uh, the offer got declined. So I was like, fair enough. So I put a bid in for £10. Then won it for £10. So meet my £10 titanium bike. So here it is, it's uh, blue with the black titanium bars, TBC, and uh, I really like it. It's in pretty decent shape, there's some rust in areas and some grime and dirt that needs to be sorted out. The chainstay is um, battered, is the best way to describe it, um, it's probably the worst part of the whole bike. The BB... Um, is uh, seized, is a good way of saying it. Uh, it don't move no more. So, slightly concerned about getting it out, but we have our ways. But let's uh, let's truly find out if it's titanium or not. So the actual main bars should be steel, and then the black bar is the titanium bit. Um, steel is obviously magnetic, so if I put the magnet on, it sticks. This is a little platform for Port Bella Road. Uh, if it goes on titanium, it should just fall off. And it does. Yes! So before I worked on the actual paint and stuff, I wanted to get the, the headset out and the BB. Uh, the headset came out easily, is the best way to describe it. Uh, I barely touched it. Uh, and the top was a little bit harder, but um, it wasn't stuck, it wasn't stiff. It just came out nice. The BB, uh, I used the breaker bar to get it off because, um, well, the thing seized. I'm sure it's going to be really hard. Uh, my old man was actually over to, on this day, so um, 
I got him to help me out because it was wobbling around in the frame, in the stand. So he held it onto it for me. And uh, it just came loose. But it was, that was it. It was pretty underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Literally spent the last 10 minutes telling my, my dad how hard it was gonna get it out and uh, it was gonna take me ages and I'm gonna need your help. And um, it basically fell out. Look at the state of it though. That is proper crusty. Cheers, Dad. So apart from the rear triangle uh, and a bit around the BB, there's no real damage on the frame at all. It's in really good nick. Um, like I say, just around the BB, probably chain coming off and stuff like that. There's um, a few wedges on the actual chain set itself, like, but that's kind of where the damage is usually. On the actual chainstay itself, I'm going to use some rust converter just to kind of uh, basically kind of kill that rust off a little bit and stop it from getting any worse. This is definitely one of my favorite new techniques to use. I've used it on quite a few builds now. I was having a look at the uh, bolts on the bike. I was just going to remove them. I noticed this one here was quite like rusted and quite old, um, but the the one on the titanium part of the frame was pretty much brand new looking still. I can only assume that the, the bolts themselves are titanium as well, and uh, that's why they still look really good. And then the other ones are just normal steel bolts or whatever. So I'm going to keep these two and then replace the rest. <laughs> The rust converter wasn't working quite as well as I wanted it to do. Uh, I wanted it to go black, so I'm going to use a bit of paint pen uh, just to kind of fill it in and kind of protect it a little bit more. My plan actually is to paint this bike in the future, so the rust isn't that much of a problem right now because I will be stripping it down probably in the summer next year. Uh, so it just got to get me through the season really Next was uh, well cleaning the damn thing making sure it was all fresh kind of got some of the grime off some of the areas So lastly was just doing a bit of restoration on the actual paintwork itself and um, the actual titanium bar came out really good It's not quite clear in this uh, this clip here, but I'm just using some scratch remover I've used this on a ton of bikes. It's really good. There's lots of brands out there, but I quite like this one So I'm not gonna do too much in this video when it comes to the builds, but uh, I wanted to get the fork on uh, So first things first was the headset the headset's just a Brand X headset. It was kind of, I don't know why I have it. I have it from a build, but um, it wasn't in use. So it went on this. Uh, I don't like this headset. It doesn't feel very nice. There's something weird about the bearings, I think. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but when you turn in the handlebars, it feels perfectly fine forwards. But as soon as you turn it, it kind of is wobbly and a bit weird. Uh, so I've ordered another one. So that will be changed, but it, for now, it's yeah this is what it looks like putting some purple anodized stuff on this bike um, and this stem and handlebars is making a return to another bike although I don't think I'm going to use it again and I'm going to kind of leave it there that's about as far as I got in this video there's a couple of bits I've kind of messed with since but um that's it really the only thing to kind of say that you know it's a bit of a spoiler is um the handlebars didn't stay and that stem didn't stay i think i need to i need to build a bike around that stem instead of trying to put that stem on every bike because it just i don't like it but maybe i would if i found the right bike hmm. but next week we will continue with this build um i've got uh, i've got a few parts that are still coming at the moment it's the main reason why this has slowed down slightly this week um, I did, however, get a, a, a BB arrive today, which I've been waiting for. Um, it's a Holotech BB. I don't do a lot of Holotech bikes, so, um, well, 
there'll be different crank arms than I usually use. Well, if you enjoy this kind of content, you are in the right place. Um, I do builds all the time. Um, if you want to kind of hang out more often, why don't you uh, click this little thing, this face here, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you uh, if you haven't seen the Rock Hopper video yet, why don't you watch this here? This is part one. It's a good one. Right. Now I've got to find some tires for this bike. Tires, tires.